Hi, this is Kristen, and I am doing a collaboration today with Concy Sinnott. Uh, Concy is Concy Atop Serenity Hill on Instagram, and she is hosting um, a art journaling play in 15 minutes. Uh, it is three prompts and two different artist takes on those particular prompts. Our uh, prompts today that we are playing with are the painting pen, photo, and pink. Um, so I couldn't be more excited to be able to use those particular prompts in, in my little art journaling play for today. So I am working in one of the journals that I have been playing in um, for just a short time and um, got my page figured out. I had a few photos pulled. Um, I really liked this one. Uh, the photo was kind of, um, it's old. It looked super magical, like you can't maybe quite pick that up uh, looking uh, on the video side. But I actually decided to use this little girl who is super adorable. Um, I really thought that she was actually just perfect once I actually started looking. So kind of changed my mind uh, as far as what I was thinking I was going to do. But like I said, super happy um, that I had chosen this particular photo to work with today. And I know it's super hard to see. It's really hard. Like when I went to look when I'm filming this, I was like, oh goodness, I can barely see that. But this is just like a little piece of tinted, uh, almost like a film. So I am just kind of layering just a little bit onto my photo um, and adding that down to the corner um, just to, I don't know, provide another little point of interest. So contemplating my page here just a little bit and what I am going to do, um, I had actually decided that I would add just a little bit of texture uh, and play through a stencil uh, to kind of begin with, just to, again, um, create a little variation and variety. And I'm just digging for the stencil that I kind of had in mind. So pulling out and I did finally find it. Oh goodness. Um, so this is just like a texture paste and I'm just using an old credit card. My goal was to, uh, you know, place onto the page and then just kind of, kind of butter through, spread through uh, my stencil onto the page here. So just kind of buttering, pushing through. I am pushing, you can see, just a little bit and kind of scraping as I go. I just wanted to, again, make sure that um, when I lifted that there was enough there. And then I decided, eh, as long as I'm working on kind of a little two-page spread, I should pull that same kind of theme um, and stencil over to my other page here. So I believe I look, yep, you can see just a little bit better there. Um, and I actually decided on this right hand side that I didn't necessarily need all of the stencil, um, all of that texture paste coming through. Um, so I decided to go ahead and scrape just a little bit back off and then I'm just evaluating and I decide, mm, you know what, I already did the flap, like that's kind of a hot mess. So <laughs> needed to leave that be. I did dry it just a little bit just to make sure um, that I could go ahead and kind of keep working on this particular page. So dried, I also did rinse my stencil. So just as an FYI, if you're going to try and play along and do this, just make sure that you rinse that back off. Now, our color is pink, uh, and this really was supposed to be a pink, um, but I believe that it's maybe uh, contaminated <laughs> with just a little bit of coffee, um, so it's looking a little more purpley. So I decided I better come back in, and that was actually fabric dye that I just put down, and the hot pink here is really uh, an acrylic ink. So I'll add these uh, particular links for you so you can see exactly what I used. But just kind of going back in over the top, um, really kind of layering up this uh, pink color um, as I'm working on this particular page. Um, liking what I have a little bit better uh, with that little bit of brighter pink. Um, but again, still kind of contemplating um, what I've got 
and just thinking I needed probably something else. So I did end up reaching for, uh, this is actually a watercolor. Um, it is, I believe it's a rose pink. Um, and this one um, looks like it's, you know, not anything too much, but wait for the water. Ooh, it's coming. And then boom, I love, love, love this hot pink hotter pink, dark pink, whatever pink this is. Loved this one a lot. Um, and so I'm just kind of dribbling and now adding just to a few other pages within this book. Um, such a delicious color and I loved kind of the layers now um, more so of the pinks that I have onto this particular page. So I will get this dried and we will keep moving, moving along here. Now I'm taking you over to the sewing machine. Um, I had uh, decided that I really wanted to add the photo kind of as a, a flip. Um, but if you'll notice, it was kind of a vintage photo. And so it actually has like the date up at the top. Um, so it said like April 69. Um, and I thought it would be cool to uh, appreciate uh, the date that was on the vintage photo. So I am making myself uh, just a couple of straps, if you will, um, out of this fabric that I had uh, recently dyed, over dyed actually, um, and surprisingly enough with pink. Uh, so the fabric actually worked out just perfect, uh, especially for this particular project. So I am lining up my straps uh, on the top of the photo here. Um, just again, making sure uh, kind of where I've got them. And once I have, once I'm happy with them, um, I'm going to go ahead and run these uh, just through the sewing machine here. I'm actually going to pretty much sew across the whole upper portion um, of this particular photo. So making sure I got the right stitch. Uh, sometimes, you know, you leave it on something else. Um, so just again, doing a straight stitch, kind of going back and forth just a little bit, making sure that that first strap is down. And now you're going to see me just come across the whole rest of this photo and actually catch now my second strap. So I've got one that's a little bit bigger and one that's just a little bit more narrow here. But again, just making sure that I've got these really nicely uh, attached to my photo. And we'll pull, pull that out, trim, and we'll head back to the desk here. So isn't she cute? And I love, oh, it's May, May 69 up at the top here. So back over at the desk, and I will apologize right now. Um, I did use this Pigma pen um, and had a little issue with my, <laughs> with my, uh, with my phone and the video. So I apologize because I had done that little bit of writing. Um, so the other prompt, of course, was the paint pen. Uh, I took a small liberty um, that the paint pens that I have are, I don't have actually very many and are way, were way too big. Like I wanted to do writing. So I chose that, um, that pen so I could write uh, actually onto this journal page. So now I am adding my little photo uh, flip up into the book and I am using some Fabri-Tac uh, on the fabric um, and just gluing down uh, into or onto um, the back page here um, so that she will be attached. So just kind of, again, straightening. I kind of left the extra threads, so I'm kind of messing, making sure that I'm not catching those um, while I'm trying to get my fabric glued down. So just kind of evaluating, looking to see how well I like where the photo uh, was and where that's at within the, within the book. Just kind of, again, double checking, making sure that it all looks good. I loved how the uh, pink that I did dribble onto the other pages and that red kind of plays on those next pages. So 
just taking a look one more time, like I said, at kind of what I've got um, and wondering about putting a hinge uh, on kind of this inside. I had contemplated the masking tape there <laughs> and what I opted for was just an, uh, another small piece of fabric. Um, I love polka dots and that particular one with the uh, black and white always calls to me. So. I found just a small piece. It doesn't have to be anything, you know, huge um, or spectacular. We just need a small piece just to, again, kind of hinge onto the back. I didn't want there to be any uh, excessive pulling um, of that. Uh, the, the paper, actually, um, that's part of this book is a little bit thinner. Um, and so I just wanted to, again, make sure that everything was, was held um, was held in okay uh, and that there wouldn't be any issues like I said with the paper or or the photo or something like that tearing so again just making sure uh, to get the fabric put into place um, and hinged appropriately here uh, for what I'm doing. So still using the Fabri-Tac that actually dries really nicely uh, and really quickly. So if you've not used that before, that's kind of nice to use, especially if you're working with a little fabric uh, and your art journal. So bear with me here as I'm trying to get my glue onto this small piece of fabric. Ooh. Yeah, I'll give myself just a moment here. Uh, but yes, I think I finally do get that attached. I am pretty happy with that now. Liking how that is ending up. Just again, double checking, making sure again that I didn't somehow move the photo uh, and that sort of thing. Um, and let's take a peek and see what we have. I love the play of the pinks and then her photo being uh, a black and white. I just really loved how that turned out. And like I said, the colors and the play then on the next page, um, just really loved that. And then I happened to be kind of thinking, you know, what would be kind of fun would be to add some words. So I do have um, words and phrases cut out that I keep in this little bowl um, just so that when I am doing stuff just like this, working in my art journal, and I decide, you know what, I might need a, some sort of a little descriptive word or something. Um, I had pulled out just a few options um, out of the little bowl there. And I decided, you know what, that particular one uh, that I have laying on the page there is absolutely perfect here. So I'm going to go ahead and use that one. I can put all of the choices uh, back into the bowl that I didn't use. And we'll go ahead and get this uh, little descriptive word. And if, if you... Um, if you didn't see it, it says makes waves, which I thought was just way too adorable um, not to use. So super happy that I had, uh, you know, a little serendipitous uh, moment of word find, found words, right? Uh, for just the right, right time, right choice, right page um, as you're working through. So super fun. We'll take a peek here, like I said. With her little arms folded, the whole makes waves just totally made me giggle here just a little bit. So loving the texture um, of the texture paste underneath through the stencil. I really thought that that was kind of cool. So liking that, contemplating here. And then I was thinking, you know, it would be really cool to be able to um, keep these prompts um, and this opportunity to collaborate with Concy. Um, and just have it be all together. And I liked that little flap on the other side. So I decided, you know what, let's make that into just a little pocket. Oh, and we do not need the clear tape. Let's go ahead and use uh, some of the washi tape, uh, black and white from Amwow Studio. Um, I always love this. This is a nice play uh, to add into, add into a journal as well. So just using a little bit of the washi tape um, to make just a little tuck in, a little pocket, if you will, um, to hold my prompts and have uh, an opportunity to really uh, be able to fully appreciate the opportunity and the chance to collaborate. Um, again, Kansi, a top 
uh, Serenity Hill on Instagram and her take on art journaling play, 15 minutes, three prompts, two artists.